If you've left the Q&A functionality enabled within CapLink, your users as well as administrators can ask questions and they'll show up under the Q&A tab. Let's first go into a document. We'll click into Corporate Records and into the CapLink Use Cases document. As I scroll to the bottom of the document, first of all I'll point out that we do see all of the activity that's occurred on this document as an administrator. I'll scroll to the bottom and I can see that myself, Alan Admin, I'm listed with the admin badge showing beside my name. And here you can see that I've asked a question. Why is CapLink one of the fastest growing data room platforms available today? So I'd submitted that and I could continue to ask additional questions here if I need to. When those are answered, the answers will also show up with the questions. Now I can scroll back up and go back out to my main view and I'll click into the Q&A tab. I can see that number one is showing up, meaning that there is a question currently pending. So we have four options showing up in the left column, the first one being pending. And this is the question that I asked. So as I click into it, this is where I would be able to provide a response. Now, if I think that question is one that the other users should have access to or to see the response to, I can also add it to an FAQ document simply by clicking this gray button. So anything I add to an FAQ document will show up here. Obviously, we've got the answered option as well. So any questions that have been answered will show here. And finally, we have assignments. So assignments doesn't always come into play, but a couple examples I'll give are, if you had a group of lawyers, you may want to assign that group to a specific person that's your general counsel. That means that general counsel is going to receive all of the questions that come in and be able to provide those responses directly. And that's gonna eliminate traffic to the other administrators. The other option I'll give is that if you're the investment banker and perhaps you've added your client as an administrator within the workspace, you don't want them receiving all of the questions that are coming in. You may want to screen those yourself first. So what you would do is come in and you would assign all of those groups to yourself, meaning that any questions coming in from all of those groups are going to come directly to you first. You'll be able to review, screen, and then assign those accordingly to the people that can provide the responses. So that's the Q&A functionality within CapLinked.